Hey, it's Matt Hubble from Light 98.7's Most Music Morning Show and the Workday Kickoff. So we saw some pretty cute costumes at Sangertown Square's Trick or Treat Street, didn't we? Some really cute costumes. What was the cutest costume you saw? I love the Cabbage Patch doll. She was adorable and looked very realistic. And then the, the girl that had the horse on the front. Oh yeah, giddy up, giddy up. She was so cute. And then we had police officers, state troopers, servicemen. I love that they did that this year. What's the cutest costume you saw? Give us a call at 721-0987. Check out the pictures up on our website and our Facebook page. We want to hear what you think. It's just Jen on Light 98.7. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. I had so much fun handing out candy at Singertown Square. Oh, I had a blast. In fact, there were so many cute costumes, I couldn't figure out which one I liked the best. They were so cute. Every one of those little kids. I loved this Cabbage Patch little girl. She was in a box, and she looked like a Cabbage Patch doll. Could she breathe? She was in a box with paper on it. They put her in a box, though. She was in a box in her little chair, and then she had a little wig on, and she looked just like a little Cabbage Patch doll. It was so cute. I wonder if they put that powder stuff in her hair to make her smell like a Cabbage Patch kid. That is the most gross-smelling stuff I've ever smelled. <laughs> I've never... What if you smelled Cabbage Patch dolls? Because when I was a kid, my family went to Florida, and my little sister had a Cabbage Patch doll, and I had to smell that thing all the way to Orlando. I never knew it had a smell. Yeah, it's like a powdery, minty scent. So I wonder if any of our listeners had good ideas of what they saw, any of their favorite costumes that they've seen or want to do in the future. Yeah, what's the most interesting costume you saw this year? 721-0987. And go to our Facebook page and our website and look at the pictures that we were posting of everyone that showed up to Sanger Town Square, these cute little faces and these cute little costumes that we're putting out there. And I wasn't really surprised at what you dressed up as this year, Jen. You weren't? No. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. What else is new? Yeah, black's a new color for me, isn't it? It's just Jen on Light 98.7. More of the Most Music Morning Show with Matt Hubble next.